Today's story is the Baru of misplaced dads. I accidentally misplaced my dad this morning. I ran outside to look for him. I asked a man to have seen my dad. It just so happens that I work at the Baru of misplaced dads, he said. Come with me. With any luck, your father will be there waiting for you. At least 20 or 30 dads wandering every day. They're usually in fairly good condition. They're lucky their kids come to fetch them the same day. But we have dads who have been waiting around since the dawn of time. We give the dads who cry cookies and juice. And it seems to help a bit. The dads in striped sweaters hang out in the ping pong room. And the bearded dads chew mint flavor bubble gum. Once a year, we release a few dads back into the wild just for fun. The dads are allowed to play with the crocodiles, but otherwise, they can pretty much to do as they please. The older dads play checkers, and the kids who come to climb them is often quite old themselves. I've seen tons of dads over the years. What does yours look like? Well, he's my dad. Of course, he's probably over here. Is this him? No. You know... If you don't find him, you could always adopt another one. Let's see who I have for you. A dad from Stratford wearing his daughter's bonnet. A super dad. A colorful dressed dad. A clueless dad. A dad with crumbs in his mustache. A dad who always looks like he's just gone out of bed. A dad named Michael. A dad who smells like the mountains. A trippy dad. A strongman dad. A dancy dad. No, no, no! I want my dad. He knows me, and he's the one who drives me to school. Ah, uh, well, in that case, I'm afraid he can't help you. Oh, I know where my dad is. I remember now. I asked him to pretend he was a code rack. I see. Well, let's get you home quickly, then. Go down this hall. You'll see an old dog. Next to the dog is the ladder. Climb up. It's a shortcut. Dad, I've been waiting for you to find me. The end.